guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval we almost got this whole entire bridge done so we'll be moving on to the next one really soon i'm hoping hoping that we can get that done today um i think i have a couple other random building projects that they're working on i can't remember exactly what they're working on but i thought there was one or two other things if i remember correctly but i can't figure out just by looking at it where those would be um it's just the bridges maybe at the moment i don't know hard to tell but uh they have those to deal with and i think we have just a few extra dirt things over on these sides that they'll have to fill in and then it's just the path on top and i think it's just these parts right here, the um, uh, arches uh, for the walkway. And there should be another one over on this side when we get that all filled, built. But it shouldn't take too, too long to finish these things. Uh, we might even have some time to actually work on the um, actual bridges and stuff themselves. Now, I've been thinking about the clay that's here. And it would be really a bad opportunity to miss out by digging it. So, I think what we're going to do, I don't know how much clay we actually have. That's dirt. That's clay. No, that's limestone. Okay, that's our clay pile. So, we got a little bit. We might go ahead and dig that out and fill it in with, um, uh, with dirt or some other resource that we can spare. So, um, I'm going to leave that section of wall for the time being and once they get all this mined out what I'm going to do is start focusing on that so I have a few things for them to mine out over there and we will need to eventually expand our um, cold storage it's starting to become at the capacity we're just getting enough food into spring so we will need more storage for sure uh, we have honey and stuff but that's it, it says our stockpile is low so it's always good to keep it you know roughly stocked oh and it's spring now so we can uh start telling them to farm stuff we need to find cabbage tell them to enable that now i'm not sure if they will go ahead and do it in a specific order that will be actually curious to find out because um i want i i place them down in this one first and I think I started from the the side over so hopefully
great. So just a quick status update. We got most of this one done now. We just got a few extra blocks, uh, really easy blocks to actually build. So the uh, there's a few um, stone walls, uh, cobblestone or limestone floors, and some wooden floors to basically build. But it's basically done for the most part. It's got the arches and everything in. So it's ready to go pretty much. Just some minor work that needs to be done. And they'll pretty much finish this up and for today for sure. And I already started planning out the other one. So they just have some ground blocks to fill in. And then we can finally fill in the other ones as well for each side here. Uh, which will be an additional row. And hopefully by then they'll start working on the arches. And then we can start finally putting in the floors. And then we'll finish off the middle part, um, hopefully. And I quickly made a um, little outpost here. Um, just for the, uh, what do you call it, the barley. Uh, so it's a little bit easier for them to get the resources to fill up this uh, field. And I figured it would probably be the, the best way to actually achieve this. So dogs will refuel it and I think we'll do the same over here. We just need a spot to actually fill this in. Uh, we'll probably need two of them. Um, we got herbs on this side, flax, cabbage, carrots, and uh, the other one. So we'll probably have a carrots and beetroots and cabbage on this side. And then flax, herbs on this side, because there's not as much room. And we could probably fit a little stall thing in, no problem. So let's do that quickly. We'll do just a tiny one right here, just to give this a little bit more room for the... Actually, we should probably put it on the other side, I think. I'll put it over here, because I think walls interfere with the growth for the, uh, the blocks, so we'll go ahead and do that, uh, just to decorate it a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and put some floors down here, and I'm not sure if this makes a difference or not, let's remove that roof for the second, what did I just remove, I cancelled something, sometimes it's easy to misclick stuff, I don't know what I did. Okay, and then we'll just put a roof like that, and then we'll put the roof on top. So that might provide a little bit more protection for the crops. I don't know. So this will be like our little garden outpost, I think. And then we can do...
All right, so that last uh, episode 45, I talked about how I basically defend the settlement and stuff. This is a perfect example of how I basically do that. I just basically place a, a wall here with the closest settler, and then I just basically snipe them. If there's archers, then the marlins help a little bit because they uh, protect from some arrow and stuff damage from below. Um, having the elevated part really helps, but... Um, uh, basically, okay, they're gonna go this way, so we're gonna try getting them as many as possible. So, yeah, basically I just do that uh, whole thing, and it seems to do the trick. Might be able to get that other one, I'm not sure. Might just let them go. Yeah, they're on the edge of the, uh thing. We'll let, let them go from there. Alright, so yeah, basically even if they um, break that one door down, there's still that remaining door. And as you can see, they didn't even bother with it. Kind of hard to show, but they didn't even bother with knocking the other one down because they knew it was blocked. So... This can even work with one door, but they still break down the first door. That's why I have a second one. So if there's uh, that door does get breached, then I can still just basically remove this and fix up that, like add another door there, which um, in a lot of cases is the case that you'll need to actually end up doing. So um, it's a little bit of a cost of a door, but it's not anything really. And I just use regular doors. I don't even use reinforced ones, though reinforced ones do help with um, delaying them a little bit more. Um, it would probably be a good idea if you had uh, different game settings, like where there's a lot more of these guys coming, to have a reinforced door at the front, just to give you enough time to get to the uh, building the wall. But other than that, just having some en entrances. Uh, when my first, when my guys ended up coming, what they ended up doing was using one of these entrances. I think it was this one over here that they ended up using. So they just kind of came from all over uh, the nearest entrance and then came to the front gate, which can really help because these are a little bit faster than some of the terrain that you would find around in your settlement too. So just keep that in mind when you're building and you should have a pretty good defense system. But uh, yeah, we got uh, a little bit of the bridge done. We did get the second one done. So... That one's good. Um, I'm telling them to mine out this clay and then I'm gonna fill it in with some dirt because we don't have a lot of options for dirt or clay at the moment. So I'd rather collect as much as I can and then we'll just um, stockpile it and fill it in with some dirt. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the last bridge built, it's completed, so all we need to do now 
is I was originally going to leave this clay here, but I think because I've checked the other spots around the uh, the base here, and we have a little bit of clay here, which will do good, but the majority of it is over here. Um, now, I didn't want to, like, lose the opportunity to actually mine it out before actually filling this in. So I have a few options uh, what we could do. Um, first option is to fence off this area, which I might end up doing, and then fencing off this area over here. So basically that will allow me to flood this part and flood that part up to there. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was just make sure that there was enough ways to get up uh, before I did do that. So um, basically I've put in some, um, told them to build some limestone brick uh, walls and stairs just to kind of get them a, a few little checkpoints where they can get up. We might end up making a stone brick retaining wall eventually around the entire build, but I'm not sure how that's going to turn out because we have the arches over here. So might have to figure out some workarounds when we do end up flooding the entire thing, but um, because those will get damaged when we actually replace the blocks behind it. So yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a problem, but we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, we might be able to drain it. I'm not sure how the mechanics all works. So I'll figure out something. Uh, I'm not too worried about like getting it uh, drained or anything like that. I'm sure we could fill it in if we needed to or use dev tools to end up uh, draining it if we needed to as well. But um, at the moment, I'm pretty happy with this. We'll probably end up um, putting a ladder or something in here, maybe stairs, just some wooden stairs for now. And that will allow us to get up and down this area. And I'll tell them to build just a retaining wall uh, for the time being right across here and by next episode we should be able to go ahead and um, fill that in so that's great uh, all the tasks are pretty much done so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out Bye.